Donor consists of two systems. A reinfusion system and a replacement system. Instructions for use are inserted in each of the packages. Two patient registration stickers are also included. First, we insert and pass the trocar wound tubing into the desired location until the black line indicators appear just outside the skin surface. We make sure that the section of wound tubing between the two black lines is not exposed at the surface. While using sterile scissors, we cut the wound tubing at a 45 degree angle for easier insertion in the wide drain connector. Cut the wide drain connector to the appropriate size for the wound tubing. Now, we fully insert the wound tubing into the wide drain connector neck. When desired, the tubing wall suction line is attached to the Lua lock connector. Suction is applied until exudates reach the end of the tube, but not further than the sliding clamp. We close the filled tube with the sliding clamp to hold the wound compression. Before connecting donor, we make sure that the white bellow is in the max position and the vacuum regulator is in the off position. The donor reinfusion system is connected with the tubing using the lure lock. We activate the donor system by turning the vacuum regulator to on. The drainage is started by opening the sliding clamp. When the donor system is full, or when the drainage has stopped, we close the sliding clamp. The donor system is closed by turning the vacuum regulator to off. Now we place the protective cap on the lure lock connection. If a replacement system is used, to continue the wound drainage, we first turn the vacuum regulator to on. And next, we open the sliding clamp. We release the filter set by pressing the release buttons. Now we can break off the white aseptic spike entry port while holding the tubing firmly.
After this, the tubing clamp and the roller clamp are both closed. At this stage, the white protective cap of the drip chamber is hanging free. We remove the transparent protective cap from the filter set spike and firmly insert it into the connecting tube of the donor system. By breaking off the breakaway cap, the donor system is vented. We prime the system by opening the white tubing clamp. Once the blood flow into the drip chamber has stopped completely, we tightly place the protective cap on the air vent of the drip chamber. Now we can open the roller clamp and regulate the blood flow. We make sure that the tube has been filled completely with blood before connecting it to the patient. When the donor collection vessel is empty, we stop the reinfusion by closing the roller clamp. 